This is Medio Mundo. Hi everyone, Rusty back here at Media Mundo. This is gonna be a special update for the ongoing flood concerns in portions of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Leeward Islands. Additional flooding threats are possible on this Thursday. So I wanted to come on and do a special update for those areas. I promise I'm gonna have a full forecast coming up for the entire Caribbean and the Bahamas later today, so stick around for that. But we have ongoing flood concerns in these areas, and that's what this update is going to cover. So let's get into it. This is the live radar here out of Puerto Rico early on this Thursday morning. We continue to see some heavy rain banding up. It is continuing to move off towards the east. Many of you in these areas have left me comments and let me know that you've had some flood issues over the last couple of days, especially yesterday. That concern will continue for a good part of this area through this Thursday. One area that's going to see less rain today and the weather is going to improve is Puerto Rico. We're now shifting the heaviest bands of rain just off towards the east. There'll still be some scattered showers for places like San Juan and Ponce, but I don't expect there to be enough additional rain today to cause more flood concerns. There's been enough flooding in portions of the island the last couple of days. Uh, the rain will be breaking apart there, uh, but again, I'll keep an eye on it. Now, the heaviest bands are still working their way just offshore, just off of the coastal islands, and then through portions of the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, Charlotte Amelie, Cruz Bay there in St. John. Doesn't mean that we're not going to get additional heavier rain in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but there is also no longer a flood watch here as well. I still expect that we could see one to two inches of rain in these areas throughout the day. We've still got some heavy bands to kind of work their way through. Doesn't mean we couldn't see additional isolated flooding in some areas. And drop it in the comments section below. Let me know if you're seeing that. But again, all of these islands, uh, many of you have chimed in and said we've had some problems here the last couple days. It's the same thing in St. Croix. Again, no flood watch right now. Probably not enough to cause any large scale flooding across the island, but there will still be some wet weather especially this morning. These bands have to work their way off towards the east. And it's the same scenario for the British Virgin Islands. Again, at this point in time, the flood watch was allowed to expire early this morning for Tortola and Roadtown and the rest of the uh, British Virgin Islands. But again, one to two additional inches of rain is not out of the question. By far, the area of concern with the additional flood threat is going to be for the northern side of the Leeward Islands. Anguilla's flood watch uh, was allowed to expire this morning as well, but we still have a flash flood watch for Barbuda and Antigua, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis all the way until at least midday for today. But it doesn't mean places like St. Martin and Saba and St. Eustatius and St. Bartholomew couldn't see additional flood issues. Some of you have let me know from these areas, you've had some flood concerns and the threat for rain and heavier rain will continue here. I'm gonna go ahead and just loop this up real quickly here over the last couple of hours, just so you kind of get an idea of what's gonna be happening. But again, the general thought of course, is that everything is progressing slowly off towards the east and underneath some of this thicker cloud coverage, we'll continue to see the opportunity for some heavier rain. Now, this does extend down towards Guadalupe and Dominica as well. There's a nice little slug of moisture coming back in, but these areas haven't had as much rain as the northern side of the Leeward Islands. So although they might end up getting more rain than some of the islands to the north today, the rain that, that some of the islands have already seen, and that's up to four inches of rain, is the reason why we have this flood threat. But again, for all of the northern leeward islands uh, all the way down towards montserrat we have that flash flood watch until noon for today but again a nice little slug of moisture here coming out of the far eastern caribbean that'll be moving through the rest of the lesser antilles and could provide some showers and some heavier downpours there so let's kind of take a look at this here on future track model i'm going to zoom back in and then i'm going to bring it back to the beginning of the time frame here actually i want to Drop it back, give me just one second here, guys. I'm gonna drop it back just a little bit farther in time. And uh, let's see here, let's loop it up. So I'm gonna put this into motion. It's gonna run over the next couple of days for us here, and then we'll kind of break down what I expect to see. So obviously the biggest concern is gonna be for today, okay? Because that's gonna be when we're gonna have the heaviest rain move through the area. So this is again, early this morning, started at 7 a.m. So we just kind of get an idea and again, just kind of stair-stepping this through about every three hours, you can see how long this heavier rain is gonna be in your area. Obviously for the morning, it's Montserrat North, including Anguilla and St. Martin and Antigua and Barbuda. Those are the areas that will see the most significant rain. It's going to stay wet. So 
Flooding could be occurring at any point in time in any of these locations throughout the day. Please be very cautious. And again, let me know how you're doing in these areas. Always like to keep up to date with friends there. Now, as we go through the day, we will shift that heavier rain east of the Virgin Islands. So again, still one to two inches of rain possible, but you can see the concentration of rain is now over the Leeward Islands. And this is basically all day Thursday. There will be some areas that only get an inch or so, but there will be a couple of areas that could get up to four additional inches of rain. And again, the flood threat there is the biggest concern uh, because it's just gonna simply stay wet, guys. I mean, it's just a very wet pattern for us here. As I mentioned, we'll try and get a little bit of heavier rain towards Martinique, maybe as far south as St. Lucia, but even in the, underneath that thicker cloud coverage, as the rain moves east, it does break apart here. And that's what I'm seeing, really more concerned with Montserrat North far northern side of the Leeward Islands. So again, very wet conditions across this area through our Thursday. It will break apart tomorrow morning. I don't expect there to be any additional flood issues in this area as we get into our Friday. It really is all about today. Looking at total precipitation here, okay? And I'm gonna take this out until uh, later on this evening or so. Uh, we'll go until basically 1 a.m. So this basically covers all of today. And again, the model starting at 7 a.m. So this is the model saying how much rain is gonna fall on this Thursday. And again, in a 24 hour time span, you see why we have these flash flood watches in effect. We've got three inches of rain uh, on Barbuda. We've got two and a half inches of rain on Antigua, two, two plus in Montserrat. And again, you gotta average this. The model is not gonna be so refined that it can pinpoint you know, who's gonna see three and who's gonna see 3.2, but you get the idea that there's a huge slug of moisture here in the northern side of the Leeward Islands. And even Anguilla could see an additional two inches of rain, two and a half in St. Martin. Some of you in St. Martin have let me know you've had some quick flash flooding. And that's the problem with flash flooding, how quickly it does develop. And again, there's a pretty big cutoff here where we will get additional rain. And I said maybe up to one to two inches more widespread, a half inch of rain for the US and British Virgin Islands. And again, you get south of Montserrat towards Guadeloupe. You know, Montserrat has two inches of rain. Guadeloupe on the northern sides could get that kind of rainfall, but it does fall off very quickly from Dominica off towards the south. So some showers are possible as far as south as St. Lucia, but the biggest concern is just this huge slug of moisture coming right through the Leeward Islands. Okay, friends, that's the update for us here. Again, I just wanted to come on and talk really quickly about these areas. Remember, you can follow us across social media. We'll keep you up to date. If you do have a picture or a video out of these areas, you wanna send it to me so I can show everyone else here across our community, mymediamundo at gmail.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Again, I will have a full forecast video across the Caribbean of the Bahamas coming up later today. Thank you so much for liking the video. Subscribe if you want the latest forecast across the Caribbean Bahamas, and I'll see you soon. Stay safe in those areas, friends.